Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video and this is the first layout I'm making with my Felicity Jane Aspen collection. So if you saw the last time I worked with Felicity Jane and how I like to start working with my kit, I've kind of already done that similar thing before starting the camera. And you can see I've kind of come down to the point of wanting to do this navy and yellow color scheme. So I pulled out everything yellow and navy, I put everything else back in the bucket, and this is kind of what I decided to start with. I have this photo of Marcus. This was um, our wedding reception day, and he needed to go pick up his suit with his best man, and I needed to go get my nails done with my mom and my sister. So this is the photo I received while I was getting my nails done of him trying on his suit one more time before he picked it up. And um, it's just a really funny photo. <laughs> and I was like, you know, this is getting scrapped, right? And Marcus is like, yeah. <laughs> so he's kind of resigned himself to where if he sends me funny photos, the whole internet is going to see. So you guys benefit from that. Um, I was super happy to get the six by six paper with this collection. So I am able to have a couple layering pieces without having to cut into more than one 12 by 12. So I have this one 12 by 12, which is the blue on blue starburst and I'm pretty much just using pocket cards and 6x6 as my layering bit so I don't have to cut into any more full sheets which is really really nice um, I thought there was not enough contrast by having this photo directly on the mustard but it looked really good next to this navy gingham um, and that worked out well because then I could have this mustard grid between the navy gingham and the blue background so that worked out really well I would have loved this page to just be navy and mustard but the background does have this lighter teal color in the starburst so I did want to bring that into my layers as well since it is in the background so I decided to use this teal pocket card to bring in that color which works really well because I definitely want to journal about this photo <laughs> so we remember what was going on because it's just really funny uh, I'm definitely gutting what I can it's the first layout of the month so I'm definitely trying to save what I can <laughs> but it, it was just really funny he's like poking his belly out Marcus like does not have a belly like he's very like lean but when he tries he can like look like he's pregnant <laughs> like he can push his belly out and he hated the vest that came on in this suit set um, because it had two rows of buttons and he kept saying it made him look like a cow because he thought it looked like a cow's udder so he I, that's the point of this photo he's like poking his belly out and he's got these two rows of buttons so he looks like he has a cow udder and he already had bought in the vest he wanted but the suit um this suit came with this vest anyways, so um, we ended up not using <laughs> this one. Uh, but yeah, it was just funny. It was unexpected that he sent me this, but I was like, yeah, that's getting scrap <laughs> scrapbooked. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what the photo is about. Uh, I definitely want to pull in all the fun little texture details that come in this kit. So I have the navy fringe, and I think that'll be a really cute element to branch out beneath this journaling spot. I do have this mustard pocket card. It's the one that has the house on it that says home. Uh, but I really just wanted it for the solid mustard. So I gutted that part of the uh, house part to save for another page and just use the solid mustard to branch out more horizontally with the mustard. And then I just felt like it looked, it was looking too boxy. So I just decided to corner around that top corner just for fun. <laughs> and I think it helps because I have the roundness of the scallop underneath. So it kind of plays off of that a little bit. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out embellishment wise where I want to start pulling from. So I have a navy little tab that I thought would look cute on the top um, on the mustard. And now I'm trying to figure out, I didn't need the whole blue scallop, um, so I just saved three of those scallops for another page or another area, but um, I do want one more horizontal element just connecting all of these pieces. So I did decide to bring in the branding strip that was white with blue hearts on it, so I thought that looked really cute. I didn't need it to run across the whole page, so I am saving a chunk of that as well, but I wanted it to run across the bottom of all these layers to tie it all in. And I wanted that pop of more white because um, you get the white in the gingham. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of white on this page. So now I have the white in this branding strip down here. Um, 
and it, this background can look very busy especially from this top down view it doesn't look as busy in person but i definitely want some other elements to help break it up a little bit so with the white branding strip on the bottom i took that as an invitation to add a white doily on the top so again it brings in that fresh white element and helps break up some of these layers from the background um, and then with the whole layering thing i couldn't help myself i had to include part of this yellow frame but i'm only using half of it because other half is going to be hidden behind the rest of these layers so um, I'll have that to use for another page as well <laughs> but since uh, I'm kind of noticing that I don't have any light of that lighter teal color on this on in that cluster other than um, the pocket card so there is uh, die cut of that uh, color in a heart <laughs> words goodness so I pop that up on some foam I have that on that tab over there and I think that really helps balance the journaling cluster to the left so I'm really liking how that's looking I'm trying to decide how much I want showing of the doily in the frame and then I'll go ahead and gut the frame to save for another page but I really like that little cluster up there and I think it really helps balance the journaling cluster. I also really like that these tabs have scallops on the bottom because that also helps balance the scalloped fringe um, next to the journaling spot too. So I'm in love with that little tiny cluster up there. <laughs> it's not a lot but it was like the perfect amount to really balance what I was wanting to do. So I'm really happy with how these layers are looking. I know I want a little bit more embellishment um, but design-wise, I'm really liking how it's looking. I'm really thinking I want something in the upper left-hand corner, though, um, because it's just looking too open over there. So I will end up adding a secondary cluster in the upper left-hand corner. Um, but first, I'm just looking at the sticker sheet to see if there's anything I can pull in. There's a yellow house and a blue gingham banner that I thought would be really cute tied in together, and that would really play off of the 6x6 six six layers I have behind the photo. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do that <laughs> um i i was kind of there's a lot of houses in this collection which i think is super cute but um a lot of these photos aren't taken at home like a running element through a lot of these like more wedding relationship pages is that like marcus is my home now type of thing so i kind of want to incorporate that through these and that's kind of why i'm making it okay to put houses on um, these layouts where we're not at home <laughs> if they have marcus in them so i have that little embellishment layer there i think that looks super cute on the journaling uh journaling card and I also think those smaller elements help balance this the cluster I have at the top so I am very happy with how these layers are looking I'm going to go ahead and gut the background um, because I definitely want to save some of this blue on blue paper for future layouts and the back of it is a pink and white um, grid which I think is really cute so I'm going to save what I can from this page for future layouts but um, before I glue all of this stuff down I just wanted to make sure <laughs> I got that done so ta-da done I'm going to back this in my cheap black paper per usual and then I can glue down my cluster <laughs> um, but then you'll start to kind of see I want to add a cluster to the upper left hand corner as well um, just as my finishing thing to balance all the stuff I've already done <laughs> so there's that look at that mess of the back I love looking at the backs of my layers because you can really see how like patched together it is <laughs> it's really satisfying so getting all these little <laughs> pieces <laughs> unstuck uh, I can't wait to read my journaling it's really funny all right so now that's down I'm trying to remember if I do my journaling next or if I go ahead and start my secondary cluster. But you can see from all of my stuff to the left there, I have plenty of blue and yellow little pieces to do a secondary cluster. But I think um, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to add the cluster at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do the journaling. I am using um, my Stampin' Write marker called Not Quite Navy. And my journaling just says, after breakfast at Waffle House, Marcus and Austin went to pick up his suit while I went to get my nails done with Mom and Becca. I then received this funny photo of Marcus poking his belly out and making fun of his vest that he thought looked like a cow's udder. Because of this, we ended up getting a different vest, and then I dated it. That was September 24th. 
of 2021. <laughs> but I like that because it included kind of all of those details. We didn't take any pictures of at Waffle House, but Marcus and Austin both love going to Waffle House. And I've only been like, I think once or twice ever. So we decided to do that kind of as a brunch, just the three of us, um, the morning of the reception, uh, before we kind of got started with our days because we had all these like last minute errands stuff things to pick up and things like that so definitely glad I got that done um I kind of wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my title so I'm gonna go ahead and I decided to do this cluster at the top so I'm taking the scrap of the mustard pocket card with the house that I used on the bottom and I'm pulling that up as the background <laughs> for this top cluster and then I I couldn't not use this tag with the blue gingham and the yellow hole reinforcer just because it was too perfect for this page. <laughs> um, but since I have a secondary cluster, I get to use the rest of the navy fringe scallop. There's a mustard uh, label and then there's a navy heart. So since I used the teal heart in my cluster with the frame, I decided to use the navy one up there. So I'm just trying to stick all that together. Again, that heart I'm going to pop up on some foam. But I think that created a really sweet little secondary cluster up there. And I also have a, that scrap of the branding strip um, that I used on the bottom of the page that I get to now incorporate up there as well. So I think that's really cute. And then once again, um, this tag is going to be covering up the sentiment on this card. And I think it's a really cute little house that says home. So I am going to trim that out to hopefully still get on a page this month. <laughs> but I am really surprised how that one little pocket card ended up being so much of this page <laughs> with that solid mustard. And just to tie into how I use that card on the bottom, I did also corner around that top right hand corner just to tie into how I used it at the bottom. <laughs> but I'm just getting this little cluster together. Um, I don't have any white twine still and I, there weren't any metallic on this page so I wasn't really wanting or black actually so I wasn't wanting to pull in my black and gold or black and white twine. But I felt like this page was too clean and too fresh with the pops of white to use the, the raw brown twine. <laughs> so I decided just to use white embroidery floss as my twine and I think that turned out really nice um, as my thread for the tag so I'll get that through there um, but I think that's just the cutest little cluster and it just like it finished it out perfectly <laughs> and we still have um, I definitely want to try and get the chipboard hearts that come in this collection on every page this month uh, the same way I did with the hexagons a couple months ago. So um, I'm going to pull that in and kind of add pops of color uh, that I think are missing in different areas through the uh, chipboard hearts. So once I get the secondary cluster down, that's that embroidery floss I decided to thread through there. And I still need a title. And the title that comes with this collection is a really pretty black uh, puffy alphabet, but I thought it would kind of get lost on this busy background. And I still kind of had an open area at the top of my pocket card. So instead of using that alpha, I decided to pull out my freckled fawn. I have this kind of orangey mustard um, tile alpha that's smaller that would fit in the t at the top of that pocket card perfectly and kind of build, bring that yellow out over there. So I'm just titling it laughs because I think this whole thing is just very funny. Um, so that's what is going to be my title. And I just decided to use those instead of my puffy alpha on this one. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm obsessed with the alphabet that comes in this collection. It's like my ideal alphabet. <laughs> and so if I don't use it this month, like I'm okay with it. Cause like I, that's the alpha I will always want to use. So, um, if the black or it seems like it it will be too busy on the pages I'm going to use it on I'm just going to use a different alphabet and like hoard that one that came with this kit a little bit um so yeah that's why I was okay using these tile alphas a little bit for that and this is where I'm going in with the heart chipboard bits I felt like the area with the frame could use a, a little bit more yellow so I pulled in some yellow hearts up there. I threw an extra yellow heart up in the secondary cluster with the tag and then I pulled in one teal and one navy down by the pocket card on top of the mustard just so all those colors were kind of balanced and represented. And here are the close-ups. I love this page so much. I'm so happy to be back with Felicity Jane so soon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.